lovely people. This is Rebecca here and I wanted to do a fun video. Do a perfume collection video. So I have a lot and I love perfume and I used to work in a store that sold fragrance. Um, so I'd test them whenever I was bored. <laughs> so I know a lot about fragrances. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one I want to show is called Gucci Envy Me. Looks like this. It's very <laughs> tall. Um, there's not much left. Oh, a little less than a half here, but yeah. So this scent is um, very, very clean and fresh. Yeah, it's almost like a just got out of the shower smell. And it's... Ugh, it's very feminine, and, and this is a 1.7 ounce, ounce bottle. For my next fragrance, I kept the box. Burberry Brit. This is the Eau uh, de... I don't know how to say it. To toilet. Um, so they have the perfume or perfume version, which is stronger. This, this is a little, a little more, I guess, to put it in general terms, watered down version of the fragrance. It's like, it's less expensive than the Parfum. <laughs> and this is, I think this is also 1.7. And this is also the Parfum. See? The Parfum. The toilette. Yes, 1.7. And the other version, the perf perfume, <laughs> I hope I'm saying this right, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> um, actually has the colors, the red and the black on the act this bottle. So this is just all white. So that's how you know the difference. But this is one of, one of my original favorites. It's very like a spicy sort of scent, if you like that. It reminds me of fall. Probably just the spice and <laughs> um, like winter and fall. Yeah, it's very comforting, I find. Comforting but sophisticated at the same time. So this is a original favorite. All right, next up I have my, this is, has to be my second perfume that I ever had, Curve Crush. And I also have the lotion, I know it's kind of old, Curve Crush. I remember I, when I was in high school, I smelled it in a magazine, and I was like, Mom, I want to get this perfume, because I was like, what, in high school, so I, I didn't have a job, so. <laughs> So for, for my birthday, she got me Curve, the original, which is a blue bottle, and it was more like adults for like older women. She didn't know the difference. I told her I wanted Curve, and I was like, oh, thank you. I had to pretend, pretend I liked it. Uh, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't this. This, some people might, might not like it, but it's like a, almost like a soft baby powder. Let me spray it. Yeah, it's a very romantic scent. Definitely younger, but... Yeah, it's a very soft, romantic sort of scent. So if you want to try that, if you want soft... <laughs> I look for Curve Crush. I don't even know if it's discontinued, but... They have it in like CVS and stuff like that. The purple bottle, not the blue. <laughs> Okay, so next up I have, this is a fragrance that I've never heard of before I owned it. So I got it as a gift, and I never, I've never, i never seen it in stores. But my mom got this at, the, at a retail outlet near our house. And this is called Halloween. It looks like that. This is the body lotion in here. So that's what the box looks like. Halloween. 
And this fragrance, I get the most compliments on. I mean, it's not even my favorite. It smells really good. But it's not my favorite out of all my perfumes. But it is, I get so many compliments. People go, what is that? And I have to tell them it's Halloween. And they're like, well, what the heck? I've never heard of that. <laughs> um, so I stock up on this. So you can see this one. This is my second bottle. <laughs> I have, I went through a lot of it, but let's see. Right, so this smells kind of like, um, you know, I'm using the word soft a lot, but it's like a softer floral fragrance. It doesn't smell spicy like the other one, which would be near Halloween. It has nothing to do with Halloween. It doesn't smell anything like festive or anything like that. It's actually going to summery in spring. Like smelling. Let's see. Yeah, so it's like a sort of um, sweet floral. When I make, when I say sweet floral, I don't mean like as mix of like candy sort of sweet. It's almost like the flower is sweet. If that makes sense, on so more of a sweet side and not so much earthy flower. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> that's what that's, this smells like to me. <laughs> and then next I have, I'm going to have to say this is my favorite out of all my perfume. Or at least the top favorite. Armani Mania. I found it at Ulta. I've never even seen it in any, in any other stores, but I sprayed it and it, ugh, it smells so good. You never see it anywhere. You never hear anyone say that they their favorite fragrance is Armani Mania. You don't hear much talk about it, but it's my favorite. <laughs> it's very like actually I wore it today. I'm gonna waste oh, so much perfume on my hand. This is also I would say in the more spicy realm. Spicy and clean. Yeah, so it's similar to Burberry Brit. But it's like, it's like not as sharp as Burberry Brit. It's more powdery, but not as powdery as Curve Crush. <laughs> so it's like a spicy, powdery sort of scent. Yeah, it's very comforting to me. And this is also a 1.7 ounce bottle. And then my other top favorite is Terry Muglet Alien. Let's see. You can see it's kind of written right there. Such a beautiful, cool bottle. Look at that. This actually my brother got me for Christmas. I was like, thank you, that's so generous. What a nice gift. It's like that, because this is really expensive. It's more expensive than all these perfumes, not combined, but <laughs> um, perfume range is usually like 50 to 60 to 70. I think this small bottle, I think this was only one ounce. Yeah, this is a one ounce, and this I think was like 90 bucks. It's one of, definitely the more expensive side of perfumes. And this, it does last such a long time on the skin. I can smell, it's one of those you can smell the next day, but it's not like a stale, it's like a nice residue, but still you can smell it. And yeah, you spray here and it comes out up here. So Terry Muglet, I hope I'm spelling that correctly. It's not on here, of course. I had the box, I never went, but it's this, by the same person Terry Muglet makes the uh, fragrance called Angel, which is a like almost like a star blue bottle, which is very, very popular. Um, also makes this. So Alien is definitely like a dry sweetness uh, fragrance. Not like, um, some fragrances are like more of like a juicy sweetness, like fr juicy like fruitiness. Um, you know, with like pear and stuff like that. and. This is more of like a dry sweet sort of scent, if that makes sense. And it's definitely very uh, high class. You can just, I don't know, you can tell 
that it is not like a cheap like fragrance and it's almost even a little bit masculine just like a tad masculine which you may not be able to tell it's feminine it can go either way depending on the person your chemistry stuff like that and it does smell very sophisticated which it should for how much it costs <laughs> I hope that describes this uh, fragrance <laughs> it <was> pretty good. <laughs> okay, call me cheesy, but I really like Britney Spears Fantasy. <laughs> Fantasy. So this fragrance is the most generic, that's the word. But it makes me really happy when I wear it. It really uplifts my mood. And this smells similar to Coach Poppy, the original. Very, very similar. Let's pray. I think this actually has notes of cotton candy in it. Oh no, maybe that's pink sugar. One of them has notes of cotton candy and like marshmallow. Oh, that's pink sugar. This smells like candy-like to me. It does. <laughs> Very almost sickly sweet, fruity. It's definitely a younger <laughs> scent, um, but I wear it every now and then because it uplifts my mood. And this fragrance, I only well, I did have the actual fragrance bottle, but I ran out, and so I got I found this on like clearance. This is the lotion version of the fragrance, and this is Lancome Hypnos. The fragrance, I mean, the lotion actually I think smells better than the fragrance, or it wears better, or it comes off a little, a little different than the straight fragrance. So this definitely has anise in it. You know, like anise, like um, when you're cooking, like baking, like that's, <laughs> that. You can smell that in here. And then it definitely has vanilla. It's like an uplifting sweet scent. If that makes any sense. Like a mature sweet, but still soft and feminine. Yeah, so if you think of anise and vanilla. With some notes in there that are making it like more mature. <laughs> For, yes. Mature compared to Britney Spears fantasy is what I mean. <laughs> yeah, this bottle is really cool too. It's it's the, it's a blue one and it has like a, a little twist to it. I wish I had it, but <laughs> that's what this fragrance is. So my next favorite, it, I don't I know it's one that I don't actually own yet, but I do have a sample that I got from Sephora. This is Dior Addict. Not that this is what the bottle looks like, but <laughs> this is what the sample looks like. They have come so far with perfume samples. I remember they used to be this little thing with a little little stick and then there would just be no filter on the top so you could like spill it. Now they have the cap and they have the spray. So it comes out nice and a nice generous size. So Dior Addict is another really ex more on this expensive side. This also, I think it has a I'm sorry, I know I keep saying I think, but from memory, um, Dior Addict has, I think, bourbon, vanilla, and cinnamon. And that's what it smells like. It smells very cinnamon-y. Cinnamon it's not a word, but to describe this fragrance, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's very strong and very long-lasting. Super sweet and warm. Yes, and more of the spicy, sweet side. The cinnamon, the bourbon, vanilla. Uh, yeah, if you like cinnamony scents, I would definitely check this one out. If you don't mind it being too strong, if you want it strong, then this is strong. Um, and I don't own this one yet, but it's in a tall blue, dark, dark, it's like a square, tall blue bottle. And then my last favorite is another one of my top favorites. Oh, I think it's... I 
And I, I think I might actually beat out um, Armani Mania, the actual favorite. <laughs> so, so my favorite one is one that I don't own. Um, and that is Chloe by Chloe. And that one comes in like a bottle like this and it has a little bow. So it's like that. And that one uh, is super, super clean smelling. Clean and... Clean and um, elegant. Clean, elegant, and warm and girly. Um, that's what I'd use to describe it. It's very, very delicious. <laughs> um, yeah. So that is my perfume collection. That's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Inside Out, and checking out this video. And please subscribe for more fun videos like this, and makeup tutorials, and vlogs, and spiritual videos, and all of that stuff. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!